in terms of the bonus that corporate America received versus the crumbs that they are giving to workers to kind of put the schmooze on is so pathetic. It's so pathetic. Well, I'm not too sure, uh, Trish, whether those more than two million people who've been getting a bonus or a wage hike would say that's pathetic. Um, and, it's, of course, let's not forget that all of this is in addition to the actual tax breaks that will show up in everyone's paycheck or many, many Americans' paychecks starting next month. So more money in people's pockets, more money in the economy. That normally means good times for all, Trish. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much. You heard Nancy Pelosi there, everyone. Crumbs? Crumbs. That's what she thinks an extra thousand dollars in everybody's pocket means for the average Walmart worker. Just crumbs. Come on. Heather Zumaraga finds that to be well, kind of crummy, right? Kind yeah, of crummy. I, yeah, Heather. right. I wish Pelosi would like donate that? some of her <laughs> own money. That's hardly crummy to middle class Americans. Maybe crummy to her. You know. It, <clears throat> Unfortunately for Nancy Pelosi and for the Democratic Party that uh, she represents, I think that she has really lost touch with what it means to have to take care of the family and go out and work for a living. A thousand dollars to any of those Walmart workers, to anyone, is real money. And she's it, calling yeah. it crumbs. I mean, isn't this the problem itself with the party? They are supposed to represent the working class. They are supposed to care about middle class people and values. And yet they don't seem to want to help them in a way that's actually really meaningful. No, Trish, and you know what? Uh, not just the $1,000 bonus that some Walmart employees are going to get back, but also you look at single mothers in maternity leave. They're increasing the pay to 10 weeks from eight weeks. Corporations, over 125, are doing things like that, giving back to their greatest assets, their employees, because mm -hmm. of this tax cut, and they know how to best give back to their employees who service their customers way better than the government does, Trish. And this is an example of the free market economy working at its best when we are, mm -hmm. the corporations are giving back to their employees. And we should point out the CEO of Walmart actually citing the tax plan, the GOP tax plan, and saying this is one of the reasons he's able to do this. I mean, isn't this the idea? You want to be able to free up money? I, I get it. I like shopping at Walmart. I mean, they got some really good <laughs> deals. And you know what? This makes me happy. I want people to be earning a good living. I want yeah. people to get these bonuses. I want them to have a better minimum wage. Sure, working at Walmart. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's a cycle that goes around and around in that I think customers sure. are happier, workers are happier, and gosh, the economy is happier. It is, and CEO Doug McMillan said it himself that this tax cut will allow Walmart to also increase competition uh, and be able to compete globally on a global scale. You look at the likes of Amazon that uh, they're facing increased competition with e-commerce, Trish. But this is really going to help all of Americans, this tax cut. And if the Democrats won't accept that now, they will when their paychecks come in February. I love this animation that we just showed the viewer there. All those companies. That's a lot that are of businesses. Yes, yes, it's a lot of businesses. You know, we're already in better shape. I mean, we're growing an economy at better than 3%, which is a whole lot better than we were certainly over the last decade. So, Heather, how did, does this continue? I mean, one of the concerns, right, has been wages and that wages were not improving enough. I mean, they barely keep in pace with inflation. Does that start to change? Wages are going to increase, and look, we haven't had to do it from a federal mandate. 18 states are increasing wages, but that may not be the best way to increase wages either. When you have companies that are increasing wages, only 2.7 percent of Americans actually receive minimum wage, and hopefully that's a stepping stone to something bigger, Trish. Yep. Unemployment rate is at 4.1 percent. That's going to put pressure on wages to tick higher as the supply in the job market uh, decreases. So this is a beautiful thing. GDP is at 3.2, 3.3% uh, and heading higher this, this year. So this is great, Trish. All right. I, I like a little good news. <laughs> Thank you so much, Heather. Good to see you. you. Happy 2018. Well, Nancy Happy Pelosi isn't the only high-ranking Democrat slamming these tax cuts. Watch. This is Armageddon. Uh, this is a very big deal. They're telling us this is their Christmas present. It is a trillion and a half dollars that the Republicans gave away to billionaires and to giant corporations. Republicans will rue the day they pass this bill, and you can bet Democrats will make sure of that. 
<laughs> is he telling us that he doesn't want the economy to succeed with a comment like that? He doesn't want to see the Dow above 25,000? He doesn't want to see unemployment at a record low or wages going up? Are Democrats going to have a tough time defending those kind of statements come Election Day?